Today we will understand difference between femoral hernia, direct inguinal hernia and indirect inguinal hernia. How to examine that patient is suffering from these three hernia? How to differentiate? So first femoral hernia, it is the protrusion of the viscous abdominal content into the anterior aspect of thigh through femoral ring femoral ring is the upper boundary of the femoral canal which is the medial most compartment of femoral sheath if some abdominal content protrude th through this opening that is the neck neck of the herniation part okay if it passes through it then it is known as femoral hernia direct inguinal hernia there is a defect in the posterior wall of inguinal canal. This in the medial half of the inguinal ligament. The floor is formed by inguinal ligament. And Hessel's back triangle is a triangular defect on the posterior wall of inguinal canal. The boundary of which these two are lateral boundary and this is medial boundary. Lateral boundary again divided into superolateral and inferior lateral. Superior lateral boundary is formed by inferior epigastric artery and inferior lateral boundary is formed by the inguinal ligament whereas the medial boundary is formed by the lateral most border of the rectus sheath. Okay. So this is our Hessel spec triangle and this is the neck of the hernia. Okay. What type of hernia? Direct inguinal hernia. When abdominal content enter into the inguinal canal through this aperture and it may come out through the superficial inguinal ring but the neck lies here at the Hessel's back triangle. First we can palpate, we can feel the protrusion here. Okay, So the neck of direct inguinal hernia is Hessel's back triangle whereas the neck of femoral hernia is the femoral ring. Now come to the indirect inguinal hernia. Indirect inguinal hernia when the abdominal content enter into the deep inguinal ring, deep inguinal ring is at the level of midpoint of the inguinal ligament. Inguinal ligament, it extends from anterior superior spine up to the pubic tubercle. This is pubic tubercle and the midpoint of which is the surface marking for the deep inguinal ring. When abdominal content enter through deep inguinal ring and it may or may not uh, come out through the superficial inguinal ring. Then it is indirect inguinal hernia. That is if it come out through the superficial inguinal ring. Then it is complete. And, and if uh, it uh, remain inside the inguinal canal. Then it is incomplete. Okay. Incomplete indirect inguinal hernia. And when come out through the superficial inguinal ring then it is complete but we take the indirect inguinal hernia as the is complete form that uh, deep inguinal ring we can't palpate we can't we can't feel because it is deep at the deeper level and we take practically the complete inguinal in the complete indirect inguinal hernia as the indirect inguinal hernia. So the neck of indirect inguinal hernia is the superficial inguinal ring which has got two limb or two crust that is the lateral crust and this is medial crust and this is the floor. Lateral crust is attached to the pubic tubercle where is the medial crust is attached to the pubic crest where is the floor is formed by the reflected part of the inguinal ligament or lacrimal ligament. Okay. So first we ask patient to stand up. Stand up and then we reduce the herniated part. We reduce the herniated part and then ask patient to cough. If we feel pulsation, first at the inferior and Inferior, you can say inferior and lateral or inferior to the pubic tubercle, it is femoral hernia. And if 
superior and lateral then it is direct inguinal hernia and if it is superior and medial then it is indirect inguinal hernia clear you can uh, think that it is also uh, it can also be superior and lateral but first we ask patient to stand up so that the inguinal ligament some wood comes down due to the weight of the abdominal content and then it become inferior so it, this is inferior and lateral okay if we first feel pulsation after the reduction of the herniated part feel pulsation inferior and lateral then it is femoral hernia superior and lateral through this hessel's back triangle we feel pulsation first at the neck okay so if superior and lateral then it is direct inguinal hernia and superior and medial then it is indirect inguinal hernia thank you